Welcome to today's video you guys imagine it's already 9 p.m let me tell you this is now content for you like you can do it anytime uh that you think of but yeah so i've decided before i go to sleep there is a request that uh someone wanted me to work like to do it for her so you guys if you uh, like i did a video of me uh doing august reset those are the resets that i do each and every month so she most of you requested it and dm'd me and i just everything that you guys ask me to do i always note down so when i get a chance to do that kind of a video i will usually do it so i got like two people who are just ask me almost the same thing so i thought maybe i'll just do such a kind of a video and today we are going to do planning and budgeting you guys so yeah it's, a, it's an exciting one for me because i always do every month so it's something that i like yeah so if you're new guys if uh before I even continue if you're new here my name is shiko mckenna and you guys if you haven't watched my videos i do my videos as uh deco home yeah you know sometimes i do lifestyle eh, to nowadays now I'm into financial like I'm now doing videos that okay i do them but I, I don't show them here so practically i'll be going like as we go on you guys will, i'll share more and more of you know yeah life in general so let's do this so you guys are just insert the um what the, the what the person needed here but i will not mention the name um it will just remain anonymous and uh i'm not let me just put a disclaimer here i'm not an accountant or <laughs> a certified you know expert in financial so i just do i just do this randomly and um it's not like i'm that good at that so if you need someone who can do an expert thing for that maybe it's not me but i just do give you a beginner or a basic kind of video so let's start guys guys i'm going to start with this notebook and i love it so i love their i bought it from zomi and they love their notebooks because they always have these affirmations that you can be always talking telling yourself before you even start doing anything so believe in yourself you are the best and before i even start writing this i wanted you to check um fellow youtuber I, she's known as just world she's good in uh financial stuff you can ask her any question any query that you have uh finance wise so <laughs> please make sure you go to her channel check her out and listen to whatever she says and to put put them into consideration i guess food is a priority hello and welcome to just world youtube channel where we talk about finance personal development travel and community service if this is your kind of content kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. guys let us start so i want to show I, i'm not having a good handwriting hoping that it's readable um so the first thing that i wanted to share with you is how to create a simple written monthly but this is a, the simplest that i thought um could do but this one depends on also the income that you're getting each and every month so it will differ so from the before before i start i told you why i'm doing with the 20,000, someone wanted me to break it down. And this is what I'm going to do uh, in terms of me, uh, if it were me. So the ink, when, when now you come to, first of all, you have to write each and every income that you get that you have seen. I've put um, question mark, question mark. So it depends if I'm getting, this is the salary um, aside from, like this is what the, the person is getting. She has already paid the NHF, the NSSF and all, you know, and the KRA. So this is what she's getting um, at the end of it. So the um, 
if there's something else that uh, maybe if you have you can add it here so that's why i've written income so you can do this is for salary and then there's um if you're maybe doing some side hustle you can write blah 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 and then write all the all your income past and then the total so in this case we are just working with twenty thousand. so the next um thing that we should do uh is now calculate and list all the monthly disposable income now this is what i was talking about i mean the the, the second thing is now calculate and list all the the bills and the monthly expenses that you undergo every month so for, for the fixed expenses you start from the most important to the least and most important uh, is what you must uh, pay every month uh for me let me just say maybe uh, um First one I, I, I will just say is rent because you know you need somewhere to stay and you need to like pay for it. So the first thing that I um, it was most most important is the rent. There is water, electricity, okay. There is food you must eat. Um, there's uh, nowadays there's cell phone plus internet. This is something I know everyone is like on it now. So you have to like be calling people and at the same time you have to use internet. So you have to be budgeting for how much you use in a month. And then fare. The fare is now from where you from home to work, from home to work. So you have to know exactly how much. Um, your fare should be and then maybe because we are Africans um, parents there's some um, like for me particularly like I usually put uh, some money aside for my parents and uh, I think most of Africans do that I don't know if everyone does that you can tell me in the comment section and then the list uh, the um, fixed expenses is miscellaneous miscellaneous is now whereby maybe if you having um someone's birthday party you need to buy a present um yeah like anything that is not like is not you know that is going to do that month that maybe is a party maybe you're going somewhere for fun so you need to have a miscellaneous like some um, money aside for you to just entertain it's good like to put it aside you know so yeah so for me, I'll just start with the fixed expenses. That's what I've talked about. You start with the most important to the least. And uh, the miscellaneous is now under fun, under every, like you say, uh, under every, like small, small items maybe that you want to purchase in between. So you need to like put money aside for such. So now for the for you know for the fixed expenses usually know how much you pay if it's for rent you know how much you pay for water this one is per unit depending on how you're using also with the electricity is token depending on how you're using um there's food that you eat this one is the dry foods and uh, the vegetables there's also cell phone uh, with the internet so you need to be knowing all these these are something that you'll be every month you recurry recurry because that's what you um do this fair fair from where you're going i mean from work to home and back and then your parents and then the miscellaneous so i'll just just write roughly um if it were me now so for water um that i remember i was i don't like use a lot of water yeah you know when you're alone you don't use a lot of water this is just an expense for maybe one person and then there's food food um is a little bit expensive you can add four thousand and then for the cell phone plus internet you can do fifteen hundred you can do those packages that maybe safari como uh gives um for fair maybe i'm assuming this person is not going far <laughs> so maybe in a month he, he or she is using the two thousand five hundred um for the fair back home and then for the parents uh we'll give a thousand this is all these are from k kenya shillings 
So for the miscellaneous, you can do with um, you can do with thirteen hundred. So you have to add this total. The the, the other <clears throat> is to add all the totals for your fixed expenses. Standing in the cold, cold rain. guys as you've seen the total of the fixed expenses is uh, is 1640 uh, 16450 and then now when you come back to you know you finalize it with uh, i'm assuming everyone has a debt like yeah you may have a debt of someone or maybe a loan or maybe you know some you've borrowed a loan from the phones or a bank or anything so you have to have aside money for debt you have to save every month for whatever amount that you're comfortable with and then if you are church you go to church you need to remove a um, tithe so for the tithe this one is usually they usually say 10 percent of of your salary but at this case this person is already fixed in terms of um the money that she's getting so the debt i'm assuming maybe the debt is maybe a thousand um and then she should save 15 1550 and then uh for the tithe she can do tithing for a thousand so okay it depends i'm just doing roughly roughly you know like how much you're supposed to um to be getting in now let us do now for the total for this one is step one wake up brother gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you so the total here is three thousand um five hundred and fifty <coughs> And so what what we were I was now trying to say, you need to subtract your expenses from your income. So my expenses is this. I add all this. Now when you add this one with this one, you need to subtract it to your income, and uh, like make sure uh, when you now subtracting like. You need, like, you need your money should be allocated. Every single um shilling that you have should be allocated somewhere. You don't need to, like, you find yourself anytime you get, you find yourself that, um, okay, like now when I minus this and I'm, I add this, I add this, I think I'll get um, the twenty thousand. Oh, like, oh, let me just do this. Mm hmm. So like sixteen thousand four fifty, so that is um, thirty five fifty. That is. So you see when I've added um my fixed expenses with uh, this, I'm getting my income. So you need not to surpass your income, or you just need to subtract your fixed um expenses to your income so you don't you need to have a zero zero <clears throat> exp zero like you need to get zero uh, from whatever at, uh, subtraction and using because anytime you get to have money that has remained it either goes to waste you either spend it badly or it's missed you forget about it you know like you see when you um, do this you add these expenses and then you add this and then um assuming now you have like some money left like a thousand bob you will end up not using it to the, the how it's supposed to so it's good to allocate each and every shilling or dollar that you get uh so so you need like you need to be accountable for every <coughs> every shilling that you get in it. so yeah so i think that's that's just it so that's how simple i can um give you as a simple budget that you can create it you can create for any amount it depends on what you get even for housewives i know you guys get some money from your husbands you can as well do that and maybe even save for something that you have 
so um, I was just doing um, roughly what I think uh, is the you know, like I was now doing something according to the 20,000 cash. So when you see this, now you need to like um, get some other jobs to do so that you can at least get some other funds that now maybe can work some, like can help you. And because now this one is like hand to mouth thing. Um, yeah. So this is just how simple I wanted to share with you. And then maybe some exact uh, things that we need to be doing is maybe writing down the due dates for the bills like maybe for the house you know maybe the list um, the, the 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 time that you're supposed to uh, not to surpass it so that you cannot be charged extra it's like date five i, fi I find it most of the houses uh, like date five to every every month and then maybe for water i think they they work the same date five five you just write um just alongside every um expense you write the due date when you are supposed to pay yeah and then maybe the other th things that you can do is maybe create monthly yearly bills happening on your budget you see like these ones they will recur as, as long as you um maybe staying in that house they will recur you next time and just pay the same you know for water can uh, can change and for electricity can change and also for food there's something that may change and there's some things that may be constant so it's good to create a monthly one and um, yearly and if you have a laptop you can now at least do like is it the accounts the sheet uh, so yeah that is how simple I I I do it. Uh, for me, I do it create monthly and I, I just recurry and maybe if you have something else here is where I mostly have uh, something that I'm going to do different. So I have to, it's either increase the money or decrease because and maybe the dates, you can find maybe this month I don't have debt. Uh, maybe last month I had a debt. So uh, yeah, so there's some, some things that I don't, are uh, not, not really, uh, like I don't need to put it in the monthly budget but for the saving time the other things are must so yeah so that's how simple i can create it for you so i hope that for the people who asked uh, i think i've answered <laughs> you guys and for more you can <laughs> now check with your experts because i'm not one <laughs> yeah so i'm not one but i'm that's that's how simple i do me i always allocate each and every shilling that i have before use so that i can know uh, where it has gone and uh, how much i'm earning and how much i'm losing you know like you get to know every everything when you plan and you budget for things so guys i am glad that maybe you've enjoyed the video i hope hope so please remember to subscribe to this channel ah uh, you can share me out you guys and also tell me in the comment section if you guys have a uh, monthly budget do you create monthly budgets yearly or do you, you just get money and do random you know you, you you know things off head you can tell me in the comment section how you do it um yeah so we can talk there so you guys will see each other in the next video bye bye